Hello, welcome to the Neutronics Workshop Installation Guide for Windows. So I'm on the GitHub repository for the Neutronics Workshop. So this is github.com, Fusion Energy Neutronics Workshop. That link will be in the description of this video. And we're going to go through the installation. So I'm just scrolling down and there's some installation videos. This one is the middle one. And we're going to go through these six installation steps here. So the first stage is to install Docker CE Community Edition for Windows. So I'll just open that up in a new tab. And then you can see here we've got Docker and you can just download it. So downloading that. And I'm just going to cancel that because I have actually already downloaded it. And I have also pinned it to my start bar. So You'll find this in the start menu after you install. And I've just clicked to launch this up. And you'll see a little Docker icon has launched up here in the bottom right corner of my screen. And you can see carefully there's little containers. Um, so while that's loading and initiating, it will have these little containers. And this is Docker Desktop. And you see in the bottom left it's orange. And that's because the engine is starting. And this may take a little bit of time, but uh, eventually that will turn green. And then you'll be able to use Docker commands. There we go. Super. So we can now use Docker commands. Stage number two is uh, a Docker command for downloading the workshop Docker pull. So I'm just going to highlight that and press Control and C. I'm going to launch PowerShell. So again, this might be in your start menu. And if you can, run it as administrator. Um, and it's like a terminal for Windows. So I've copied that. So I'm going to right mouse click and that will paste. And then I will press enter and run that. And in my case, the image is already downloaded and already up to date. So it didn't re-download it. In your case, it will download a few gigabytes of data from the GitHub container repository, and that will take some time. OK, the next Docker command is to do Docker run with some port sharing. So highlight, Control and C, right mouse button. It doesn't always work, so I'll do that again. Control and C, right mouse button to paste. This docker run command has a minus p, which is port sharing, um, which allows Jupyter Notebooks to talk to our web browser on our base system. And as it mentions in step four, this will then print out a lot of information, but the important bit is the URL at the bottom. So I'm just going to highlight that, control and C to copy, and just going to paste that into the browser window. Whole thing, including the token and the IP address at the start. And now we're running a Docker image, which is a, a Ubuntu operating system with OpenMC and DAGMC and the Paramac all pre-installed. And I'm just going to check it's working by trying one of the tasks. So I'm just clicking on task five, part one. And this is the Jupyter Notebook. To run these code blocks, you click on a code block and you hold shift and press enter. This one has a little tutorial video that will explain. And I'm going to run this next one. And build the new file and run this one. To run the new file. When they're running, they have a little asterisk next to them. So that was fairly quick. And then I'm just going to extract the results. And this all seems to work. And see the errors and it, it printed the tritium breeding issue. So I will just close this down now and I will quit this and then I will go back to the repository as there's a couple more things to install. So Paraview is needed by some tasks. So to install Paraview you go to the link and it's very simple. It's recognized we're on Windows. We will download and install. Um, in my case, I would 
opt for this exe. So I will cancel that download because I've already installed and pinned to my menu. So this will be available in your start menu after you install it. And I'm just loading it up to check that it, it worked properly. That looks fine. Paraview appears to be working. Going back to the repository, there's another um, stage. So install some CAD software. You can use lots of different CAD software, but FreeCAD is, is on the link because it's free. And you can see there's a Windows installer. So again, I, I won't download this fully because I've already downloaded it and pinned it to my start menu, but I will open it to check it works. And this will be available in your start menu after you install it. And that appears to be working just fine. So that will be useful in some of the later tasks. Now there are a few other things to know about Docker and Windows. And occasionally it's necessary to go into the settings um, and turn on the hypervisor, Hyper-V feature. And additionally, it might be necessary to install WSL2, Windows Subsystem for Linux. So I'll put links for them in the chat, uh, in the messages at the bottom of the video, um, just in case that's useful. Thanks very much. Enjoy the workshop.